Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. .com. In this video, we'll use Oracle Data Pump 21C to export to and import from a cloud object store. The Oracle 18C version of Data Pump could import data from a cloud object store to Autonomous Database. The Oracle 21C version of Data Pump can export to and import from a cloud object store. This functionality works with both Autonomous Database and on prem installations. The demos in this video are using an on prem installation. We need the DBMS Cloud package installed on the local database, and there is a make file that needs to be run for this functionality to work. There's an article linked in the description that explains the setup. We connect to a privileged user. We create a new user called Test User 1 and grant it some basic privileges. We give it the Create Credential privilege and grant it Execute on the DBMS Cloud package. We create a directory object called tempdir, pointing to the slash temp directory on the database server. We grant read write privileges on this directory to the test user. The log files will be written to this location. We connect to the test user and create a credential to authenticate to our cloud object store. We call the create credential procedure, passing in a credential name, our Oracle Cloud user email address, and an auth token with access to the object store. We create a table called emp and populate it with the usual data. We select from the emp table and we see the data. We're now ready to use data pump with the cloud object store. First we export some data to a cloud object store using the xdp command. For the most part this looks like a standard table level export. We use the credential parameter to reference the cloud object store credential and we use the cloud object store URI in the dump file parameter. Here we're creating a dump file called empdmp in a bucket called obbucket. Notice the log file is using the local directory object not the bucket. We can see 14 rows in the emp table have been exported to the cloud object store. This time we import the data from the cloud object store using the impdp command. This looks like a standard table level import. We use remap table to give the imported table a new name. We set the cloud object store credential and we use the cloud object store URI in the dump file parameter. The log file uses the local directory. We can see 14 rows have been imported into the emp copy table from the cloud object store. As you might expect, exporting to and importing from a cloud object store adds some latency compared to accessing local storage. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.